I've been holding a lot of shit in lately. Oh, man, I just had a, had like a three and a half hour cry. In recent years, Sean Diddy Combs has been experimenting with a new name, Brother Love. However, it's crucial to note that he has a history of serious trouble with violence dating back to the 1990s. Now, 2024 appears to be a challenging year for him, as rumors suggest that the Hollywood industry will be a hostile environment. Over the years, numerous artists and celebrities have come forward to expose Diddy, leading to speculation that he fears facing the consequences of his alleged actions. Supposedly, due to the fear of tarnishing his reputation, fame, and wealth, his health has suffered significantly. Reports indicate that Diddy's recent days have been anything but easy. Once brimming with life and energy, this mogul in his 50s now appears to be a mere shadow of his former self. He has encountered one setback after another, from losing millions in lawsuits to even parting ways with young Miami, whom some affectionately refer to as his beloved pet. Recently, he allegedly experienced a health scare in the early hours of the morning. Reports indicate he was rushed to the hospital after suffering from an extreme migraine following a post-Grammy party. Diddy had hosted a bash at the Playboy Mansion, but sadly, he reportedly fell ill soon after departing. He was taken to the emergency room at UCLA Hospital when his entourage became extremely concerned about his health. A source informed reporters that Diddy's alleged migraine wasn't actually related to what occurred at Hugh Hefner's mansion. He was apparently treated at the medical center and then discharged. While many once attributed Diddy's health issues to his tireless work ethic spanning music, fashion, and liquor brands, there are now claims that it was truly the wild parties that overwhelmed his body. It's true that stress can accelerate aging and Diddy has been contending with a lot lately, from lawsuits to damaging allegations that have tarnished his reputation. However, it seems that things have taken a turn for the worse. Multiple lawsuits have been filed against Diddy, including one by his ex-girlfriend and Randy B. singer Cassie, who accused him of non-consensual activities in a lawsuit filed in New York. They settled the suit out of court the next day, but then three more women came forward with similar allegations in their lawsuits. One of them claimed that Combs, along with another record executive, forced himself upon her when she was just 17. Tiffany Redd, a friend of Cassie's, wrote an open letter in Rolling Stone backing up Cassie's claims. She stated, I'm one of the friends mentioned in her lawsuit, specifically from the night of her 29th birthday, as detailed in the section labeled Mr. Combs forces Ms. Ventura into S. She further added, she later told me you made her have a freak off, which Cassie described in her lawsuit as an arrangement where you would make her perform S acts with male S workers that night. The reason you called me emotional singing bee was because you were listening to new songs we wrote during the freak off that had begun after you came to get her earlier that night. I am disturbed to my core by this. However, if Diddy thought that after settling the case with Cassie he would be able to get away, he might be living in his little bubble as just five days after their case was settled, another woman came forward. A former Syracuse University student sued Combs, claiming he drugged, forced himself upon her, and recorded her, then showed the tape to others. According to sources, the lawsuit alleges that in 1991, after dinner in Harlem, Combs took her to a studio where he ate her when she couldn't stand or walk. The lawsuit alleges that a friend later informed her that he had seen the video with other men. Despite these allegations, Combs' representative denied them, calling them a money grab. Later, on November 23rd, a second accuser filed a lawsuit against Combs alleging assault. In this new suit, a woman claims that Combs and singer-songwriter Aaron Hall forced themselves upon her and a friend in 1990 or 1991. She also alleges that Combs attacked her again a few days later at a home where she was staying, becoming violent and choking her until she passed out. The complaint states that Combs was worried about the friend revealing what happened, so he assaulted the woman. But that's not all. Diddy has also been a suspect in the murder of Tupac Shakur. On September 7, 1996, Tupac Shakur and Death Row Records' Bigwig Suga Knight were enjoying themselves at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, all set to witness Mike Tyson's epic boxing showdown. Tyson didn't disappoint, knocking out Bruce Seldon in just under two minutes. However, trouble brewed in the parking lot as the adrenaline from the fight cooled down. Trayvon Lane, rolling with Knight's crew, spotted Orlando Anderson, a member of the rival Southside Crips gang. Earlier that year, Anderson had attempted to provoke Lane in a footlocker in Lakewood, California. Lane informed Tupac, who wasted no time and punched Anderson. The entire scuffle was caught on camera, with Knight and others joining in to assist Tupac. 
If that weren't enough drama for one night, things took a deadly turn later on. Tupac and Knight were driving towards Club 662, Knight's spot, when a white Cadillac pulled up alongside them. Before they knew it, shots rang out from the Cadillac, hitting Tupac four times. Despite fighting for his life, Tupac passed away six days later at the University Medical Center of Southern Nevada, leaving behind a legacy that still echoes through the ages, all at the young age of 25. Before Davis's recent arrest, various theories swirled regarding Tupac's demise. Some whispered that Sean P. Diddy Combs, head honcho of Bad Boy Records in Tupac's East Coast nemesis, orchestrated the shooting, possibly targeting Knight as well. Diddy vehemently denied any involvement in Tupac's murder. In 2018, Eminem addressed the rumor in his diss track aimed at Machine Gun Kelly, titled, K-Shot, Rapping, But Kells, The Day You Put Out a Hit's The Day Diddy Admits That He Put The Hit Out That Got Packhead. Yet, later in the same song, Eminem retracted the controversial claim, quipping, You know I'm just playing Diddy. You know I love you. Many fans speculated that Eminem was subtly hinting at a truth too taboo to openly discuss, perhaps due to Diddy's immense influence and status. However, seeking to set the record straight, Diddy took to social media, stating, Enough is enough for the last couple of weeks. I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation, and tarnish my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals seeking a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not commit any of the despicable acts being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Despite Diddy's denial of the accusations, his absence from the Grammys also fueled various speculations. Many rumors circulated, suggesting that the Grammys had formally disinvited him. According to a representative speaking to The Hollywood Reporter, Diddy wouldn't be attending the Grammy Awards this year due to serious allegations of S. A. Despite receiving a nomination for Best Progressive Randy B. Album for his project, the Love Album Off the Grid, in November 2023, there's curiosity surrounding Diddy's reasons for avoiding public appearances. Typically, nominees receive invitations to the ceremony shortly after nominations are announced. Approximately a month ago, the Recording Academy stated they were assessing whether Combs would be invited to the Grammys. A Recording Academy representative stated, We are treating this matter seriously and are carefully evaluating it. Although Diddy didn't attend the Grammys, there was chaos as no one wanted to be seated near him. Allegedly, others requested to be placed far away from him due to recent allegations, resulting in backlash against him. The dilemma regarding seating arrangements has thrown the Grammy organizers into disarray, as typically they only need to manage the egos of the stars. However, due to the allegations against Diddy, several celebrity agents have requested their clients to be seated away from him. Additionally, many of Diddy's close associates have begun to distance themselves from him, perhaps sensing the trouble he's facing. Following the allegations in late November 2023, Diddy temporarily stepped down as chairman of Revolt, the media company he established in 2013. While he wasn't actively involved in day-to-day -day operations previously, the company made this announcement. According to the company, the decision ensures Revolt remains focused on its mission to create meaningful content for the culture and amplify the voices of all Black people throughout the country. Capital Prep Harlem, the charter school Diddy founded in 2016, also announced the termination of its ties with the music mogul. This decision reflects concerns extending beyond hip-hop, touching even institutions like the church. Diddy is facing a barrage of troubles, losing everything at once. It must have seemed like a nightmare, potentially leading to his illness, hospitalization, and absence from the Grammys. Handling such a situation all at once is challenging for anyone. However, this year's Grammys were anything but typical as Jay-Z abruptly canceled the Rock Nation brunch. The tradition, which began in 2011, paused in 2021 and 2022 due to the pandemic, but made a strong return last year with a significant turnout. Jay-Z has always been close to Diddy, as Diddy has been to every single Rock Nation brunch. These gatherings celebrate Black excellence, with celebrities, sports stars, and entertainers all in attendance, having a good time. Considering Diddy's central presence and close friendship with Jay-Z, they could have proceeded with the brunch without him. This move could have mitigated a potential media frenzy, given the uncertainty surrounding Diddy. Another reason for the brunch cancellation is the numerous ongoing lawsuits, such as the allegations of unpaid compensation to documentary filmmakers involving Meek Mill and Rock Nation. Good Company Pictures filed a lawsuit alleging non-payment for their services related to Meek Mill's concert and subsequent documentary work. 
Despite fulfilling their obligations, they claim they haven't received payment as agreed. With the Hollywood buzz focused on Diddy's declining health, legal battles, and absence from the Grammys, many fans see this as karma catching up with him. There's speculation about potential losses in power, fame, and wealth even discussing the possibility of jail time. While some view this as justice, others believe Diddy's current struggles pale in comparison to the pain he may have caused others. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.